Good morning. Welcome to another vlog. I am on my way to LA. I woke up at 3.30 this morning to finish packing and you know, get ready and everything. And I had put into the hotel that I am staying at, I put in for early check-in because my flight's at about eight o'clock. So I'm gonna get in at like nine, maybe I'll get to the hotel latest at like 10. Um, and usually check-ins at like three, <laughs> three or four. So anyway, I just saw an email that they granted me early check-in. So I'm so excited. I was really worried. I was just gonna be like hanging out with nowhere to go. So that's what we're doing this morning. I am pretty much done packing now. It was a little bit more complicated than one of my, you know, just kind of fun trips because I am going for the YouTube, what is the actual event called? The YouTube Shopping Holiday House. And it's invite only. I think there's only gonna be like 150 or 200 YouTube creators there. And I'm gonna be speaking on a panel, which is uh, such an honor to have been asked. So that's really nice. Since I'm gonna be in LA, I decided to have my manager set up like meetings and stuff with PR firms and uh, beauty companies or whatever, just people that I've worked with in the past, uh, just to, it's always nice I feel like to put a face to a name. So uh, I'm gonna be there through Saturday. Um, so I'm gonna be there for five days and mainly for work. I have some friends in LA, I actually have some family in LA, but I don't think I'm gonna have time to see anyone, unfortunately. So it's just gonna be work, work, work. But because of that, I had to pack, you know, a little bit differently. I definitely had to pack makeup, I had to pack some outfits and things, which I'll show you once I uh, check in. It is about 5.30 now. <laughs> I feel a little bleary eyed. 3.30 uh, is even early for me, so. Um, I'm probably gonna sleep on the plane, but I need to work, I need to edit. So I've got my computer out. Yeah, that's the plan. Sorry, I'm just thinking out loud here. I'm just kind of <laughs> thinking through my day. I have two meetings today in the afternoon. Um, so I'm hoping to get my editing done before then. And then this evening, uh, there is like a little party. I don't know if it's a launch or just a little gathering, but um, Risa and Samantha and Lori Hill were all gonna be there. Um, most of them, I think, I think Samantha and Lori are only staying the night and I think Risa's leaving on Thursday. Uh, but anyway, no one's staying as long as I am, which is kind of a bummer. I'll be there alone for um, the second half of the trip, but uh, we're all staying at the same hotel, so it should be fun. So I'm just gonna finish my espresso here and then head on out to the airport. I just left our first meeting. I'm here with my manager, Amanda. <laughs> uh, we're in an Uber, we're heading to our second meeting and I was going to vlog uh, from the hotel, but my room, which was supposed to be ready, was not ready. So I'm feeling a little haggard right now, but I, I did manage to put on some makeup in the, in the hotel bathroom. Yes. That was fun. But yeah, we just had a great, um, a great meeting with a company that like reps a whole bunch of different brands and they had um, some good like fashion brands and anyway I'll show you I'll show you some stuff um, once I get it <laughs> I was gonna take it all home but I decided to ask them to ship it which they are very yeah. very nicely very it's gonna be heavy <laughs> if you had to take and it just, off yeah and just and I packed uh, yeah I packed way too much <laughs> um, so I had no room in my in my luggage but yeah anyway we're Heading there. I wonder if we're gonna have time. I'm hoping to have time to grab a little bite to eat um, before the second meeting, but I don't know. We sure. should.
I just got back to my hotel room. Amanda and I had a really nice lunch at the Ace Hotel. We went up to the rooftop bar. Right, what is it called? In upstairs? Inside? Something like that. <laughs> anyway, I had a great charred octopus salad. It was lovely. And then we went over to ICA, which stands for something like Interactive Creative Agency, something like that. Um, but they represent a lot of brands. And the uh, PR agency we went to before lunch called... My God, it's all these acronyms I will never remember, but it's like BCPM, something like that. Um, they represent a lot of brands as well, and they were so nice. I mean, both of these agencies, so nice. They let me just kind of walk around like the showroom and just pick out stuff that I was interested in trying out. So at the BCPM, I think it is BCPM. What was I saying before? BBCM? I think it's BCPM. They're shipping my stuff back because I was like, it's too much. But at ICA, I brought the stuff with me. So I do have some things to show you. And I do have some time before my next event, which is a skin fix party, which is great. But let me just set you up right here. Is that a good height? Wow, there's like a shelf above this table that's like the perfect height. Oh, and you can see my hotel room. Not much to report. It's nice. It's clean, which is what I like. <laughs> it's clean and... I got a room with two queens. I think I requested one king, but this is what we got. Not a, not a great, oh, a view of downtown LA. Actually, let me show you this. So there is a view of, oh my gosh, can you see it in the haze, in the smog? There, that's downtown LA. So I am currently in Culver City uh, right now, which I don't, I'm saying that like it means something to me. I don't know LA at all. I don't know what that means. I don't know if I'm like, I think I'm still in LA, but I think LA is a county and I'm a city, whatever. Anyway, let me show you quickly some of the things that I got at ICA. So, oh, they rep Slip. So they threw in one of the pillowcases, which is great because Slip, who's always been so generous, they send me like their scrunchies, their pillowcases, but they always send me the queen size and I have king size pillows. Um, so they gave me a king size pillowcase, which is so great. And then they also rep Mother, and you guys know how much I love Mother. So I got the body scrub, the body contour serum, which is one of my favorite products from their line. And they wanted to give me one of their new releases. This is the Vernix Mask. It's from like their Rebirth line. So those things I got from Mother. And then they rep this brand new line, which, you know, as soon as we walked into the showroom, it was this really like black with neon colors on it. It just like caught my eye and I was like, I have to try this stuff. So the brand is called Neon Hippie. And this is what the display looked like. You know, black with like all these neon colors. So I'm trying their Super Luxe Face Oil, the Cosmic Concentrate, which is a hyaluronic serum. They have this Lucid Lip. So it's a hybrid lip oil with CBD and a seven shroom complex. So I think this whole skincare line is based on a seven shroom complex. And so all of their products have it. And this, this Lucid Lip, I wonder if I can show you. So it has one of those tips, right, we've seen. But this whole thing, when you turn this on, I don't, can you hear this? It vibrates, the whole thing is vibrating. <laughs> So they use this vibration to plump up your lips versus using like, you know, the, the stuff that kind of like irritates your lips, which I don't like. So I really wanted to try this. I thought that was really cool. Uh, we were like, oh, oh my, it vibrates. <laughs> so very cool little gadget there. And then what else? I've got two more things uh, from Neon Hippie. The Neurolux Peptide Cream and then the Vitamin C Serum which um, the IC rep was saying uh, is like their really popular product. So I wanted to try that. And then Vita Glow is another brand that they rep and they're, I think, Australian and they have supplements basically. And this supplement is supposed to help with like hyperpigmentation, um, dark spots, things like that, which you guys know I have a lot of on my face. Um, it's a daily ingestible capsule that enhances skin health to support a radiant complexion with targeted active skin AX. Um, so there's 30 capsules in each, and she said to take two bottles because 
um, most of the people that she knows that's tried this, um, they didn't see that much after one month, but then after taking it for two months, they started to really see a difference where their like spots were lighting up. So I was like, okay, I will take it for two months. Oh, I have another thing for Mother. It was stuck in the corner there. This is their Mother Rebirth uh, line. This is the Amniotic Toner. You guys know how much I love a good toner. So excited for that. And then I got a couple things from Cora. You guys know how much I love Cora Organics. This is Miranda Kerr's line. And this is the Plant Stem Cell Retinol Alternative. Wow, Alternative Moisturizer. This, I believe, is brand new. And then I wanted to try their hand and body wash. They have like a whole bunch of um, body care products that I've never tried. You guys know how much I love their eye cream. It comes in that pink, that really pretty uh, refillable pink jar. Um, their oil, like love, love, love the stuff of the face, but I've never tried their body stuff, so I wanted to try that. And then this is De Denucera, I believe it's, is how it's pronounced, but I believe it's uh, from the people who started Rescue Spa, which is a really popular spa in New York. And this is a facial balm. I'm not going to open it right now because I feel like it may be messy because she showed us in the showroom and it has like a kind of like a honey like texture. So, you know, when I use it, I'll show you guys, but it's called the facial balm. And apparently you can use it as like a mask. You can use it as a moisturizer. You can use it to remove makeup, like all these things. Actually reminded me the description. I haven't used it yet, but the description reminded me of Lisa Eldridge's um, face cleanser, which you can also use as a mask. Um, so anyway, we'll have to play around with this. And then Bondi Sands um, is an Australian self-tanning company. And they came out with self-tanners with tones. So if you feel like self-tanners are always too warm on the body, like they always meant, end up making you look kind of orange or it's just too coppery, there's just too much maybe yellow to it, um, you may want to try this sapphire one. They actually have four different um, self-tanners with different undertones. So they have a magenta one that's for very deep skin tones. There's um, I can't remember what it's called, but there's one that's like very warm caramel and then there's one for like olive skin. So this one is for cool toned skin uh, because sometimes I do feel like toner, toner, <laughs> self tanner is just a little bit too warm for me. It just looks a little bit too self tannery, you know what I mean? So I really wanted to try this and the rep at ICA says that she uses this and she really, really loves it. And she also threw in a, like a tanning mitt, which is really nice. And then... They also rep Stila, and Stila has these really cool like lip stain calligraphy pens. So I grabbed a bright color, an orange, and a nude. I mean, so typical me. But look at this tip. It literally looks like a calligraphy pen. So it's really great to like line your lips because it's super thin, and then you just turn it, and then you can fill in your lips really easily. This is what the orange looks like. I was kind of playing around with one. And so they're long wearing and they, when you like draw it on your skin, it really looks like a marker. It's really cool. So that is what I got from their beauty space. And then they did have some fashion brands that I could kind of poke around in. And the only one that I really uh, was drawn to that I thought you guys would appreciate too is Superga. So when I was over in Italy this past summer, I started noticing a lot of people wearing Supergas again because I remember Supergas were really big like 20 years ago, like a long, long time ago. And I remember never getting a pair then. I don't know, the, the trend just missed me. So when I was kind of poking through, I saw, I saw this pair, of course, and look at what I'm wearing. I saw this pair that I was like, I have to see if they have my size. So it's like a leopard print. But these Supergas are really cute. They were like, if I remember correctly, they were like a cool version of Keds or like the Italian European version of Chuck Taylors. Like they have that kind of feel to them. I think they're actually, I think they're more similar to Keds. But anyway, yeah, I started to see everyone in Italy wearing them when I was over there in the summer and I'm starting to see people in the States wearing it. So I think the trend is coming back. <laughs> like everything, the trend is coming back. So anyway, I had to grab these leopard print ones. I also have absolutely no idea how I'm going to get all this stuff home. Like I said, the first uh, agency I was at, the BP, BCPM, 
Um, they were really sweet and, and you know, offered to ship, which was just above and beyond. It's not what I expected. Um, but I really don't know if I'm going to get all this stuff home. And, oh, this is from um, BCPM. So they rep and other stories. And I didn't realize and other stories have has really cool jewelry. So let me just show you. I decided to take this because I'm like, this will definitely fit in my life. And I may want to wear it while I'm here. Look at this cool necklace. It has this, it looks almost like a potato <laughs> with spikes. And there's like a crystal in there too. I don't know if you guys can see that. The lighting in here is not great. Um, but this is like a choker style necklace. And then there's a matching bracelet. And they had a necklace with like a really big um, little kind of abstract shape, uh, but it was on a black cord, and I don't usually wear that style, but I thought this was a little bit more me. So this was one thing I got from them, but I'll show you the rest of what I got from them once I get home and get their package, because like I said, they're shipping it. So anyway, I need to, what time is it? So I have, um, wow, <laughs> what I have are a lot of missed messages. Um, I have about an hour and 50, well, I have about an hour, I'll say, um, before I have to leave for a skin fix party tonight. So I'm going with Risa, Risa Does Makeup, and Samantha March. Um, I think Samantha's landing soon. Risa got here while I was out and about, and yeah, Risa said she took a nap and like got a chance to relax a little bit. I would love to take a nap, but I don't think I have enough time. So just wanted to give you a quick breakdown of what I actually wore and packed. So I did wear this on the plane, my Celine Anorak. This is great because it's usually, it's like light enough if the airport is kind of warm, but warm enough when you get on the plane and they, <laughs> they freeze you out. So this has been really handy. And then I brought my H&M knit Chanel inspired little cardigan here. And then I brought my The Row blazer. This is the schoolgirl blazer. And then I brought my Prada like wool shirt jacket. I think I may wear this tomorrow to the actual YouTube event because I have a feeling it's gonna be really overly air conditioned like most places are. Um, and this is uh, not too warm, but it's like a nice layer. And then my Kaz shirt, which I love and this Frankie Shop nylon green shirt, which I was gonna wear tonight, but it's so, it's so wrinkled. We'll see. And then I brought my Prada nylon sleeve poplin shirt, which also is so wrinkled. And then just a plain old white blouse, which is a great layering piece. And then my wide leg cause gray trousers, my um, cropped tapered leg, trousers from Kaz, and then I think these are from Kaz too. These are just black wide leg um, pants. And then I am wearing my Rag & Bone um, Miramar sweatpant, jean-like pants. Of course I packed my slippers. And then these are the shoes that I brought. I have my Puffy Prada Mules, my Kate Flats, my Chanel Slingback Flats, my Prada Shearling Slides, and then I wore my Celine sneakers on the flight. I figured this is gonna cover everything that I need. Oh, I also packed um, a pleated skirt, which is what I would wear these with, but that's in the dresser drawer. And then I've got my Celine Triumph bag, my small Loewe puzzle bag, and then my Chanel Deauville tote, which is what I love to use as a carry-on. So those are all the things that I packed and yeah, I just have to decide what I'm gonna to wear tonight uh, to the Skin Fix party because I was gonna wear that green nylon uh, Frankie Shop shirt, but it really is wrinkled and I don't think I have time to set up the iron and everything, but maybe, let me put it on and see what it looks like. Okay, I think, you know, it looks wrinkled, but I think because it's nylon, it's actually okay. <laughs> I think I can get away with it. So I just put on my wide leg um, black trousers and my Prada Puffy Mules. And then I think I'll use my Loewe bag. I think the Celine is a little too, I don't know. It doesn't go with the green nylon, I don't think. All right, with the Loewe bag, I think I am, 
Ready. This is as good as it's gonna vlogging, get. Me vlogging? I'm vlogging you vlogging. And I'm always the anti vlogger. <laughs> Oh my god, the lazy. lazy. And I'm but I'm here with Michelle and Risa. We're headed off to a brand party and then maybe dinner. Yeah, dinner. Absolutely. Food. And then <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Food. absolutely yeah. food. And then YouTube event is tomorrow. So let's get in. I've had this suit thing like for a thousand years and I never wear it because I'm always afraid to wear white, but we're doing it. Will you turn to me? We're doing Look at that. Oh. Sexy mama. Sexy. Just got off a plane. Oh, wait, are those you shorts? You should have worn that on the plane. Probably don't smell good. I already get enough looks. I get enough <laughs> looks at my ripped jeans and crop top. I get enough people staring at me, actually. We weren't sure if we were in the right place, but we are. So we're at the Edition Hotel in WeHo. And we were just directed to walk behind these big stairs. party and now we're at a sushi place next door called Ten Masa. And actually Risa was just commenting it looks like a house, like someone's house. Working so hard. No close up place. <laughs> I love your nails. That'll be five dollars. That'll be morning. It is the next day. <laughs> Risa uh, Samantha and I had a great time at the skin fix party. I actually met up with uh, one of my managers that I had never met before <laughs> and she came running up to me. She's like, oh my god, hi, you're here. And I was like, oh my god, I feel like she knows this person. <laughs> wow, I felt like an idiot. But anyway, that was, uh, it was great to meet her in person and it was great to uh, meet the Skin Fix team and everything. Anyway, it was great. And it was at the Edition Hotel in WeHo. Gorgeous hotel. If you're staying in West Hollywood, feel like you want to stay in West Hollywood, I would definitely check out the edition there. And I usually stay at the edition when I go to New York, like when I'm not staying with friends. I've stayed there. I stayed there in May, um, if you guys remember. Anyway, great hotel chain. Love it. Love it. Anyway, I'm getting ready for the day. So today is the day of the YouTube creator event and uh, the reason why I'm here. And I'm going to be on a panel, so I'm trying to look a little better than usual. <laughs> we'll see what happens. But I've showered. I need to do my hair. Thought I'd get ready with you guys. I'm still trying to figure out what to wear. I am, you know, definitely afraid of being too hot, but I also feel like when you're in these convention centers, they can be very, very overly air conditioned. So I'm like, okay, I think I'll layer. I may actually wear my leopard anorak. I just think it's it's super cute. Anyway, we'll play around with a couple things, but I need to do my hair, put on my makeup, and then we can figure out the outfit. So I'm just going to wear my hair back and up because I just don't want to worry about it. You know what I mean? When I have it up in a bun, I don't have to think about my hair. I don't have to like make sure it doesn't look too flat or is it sticking out weird or whatever. So I'm going to just gel it down and force it to behave. So now I just need to find some hair ties. That would be very helpful. I know I brought some. I'm just not sure where they are. Hang on one moment, please. While I'm looking for these, did I ever tell you guys where the one moment please came from? Because I think I've said it in a couple of videos. I don't overuse it. But um, I, probably my second or third job out of college, I ended up being a relief receptionist. So I wasn't even the main receptionist. I was the relief receptionist. So I would relieve the main receptionist uh, from her duties when she needed to go to lunch, take breaks, all that kind of stuff. We had a schedule. Um, and she was amazing. Amazing. I loved her. And, oh my god, I really don't know where these hair ties are. Oh, here's one. Here is one. And she, this receptionist basically taught me, like, phone etiquette. 
she was absolutely perfect. I mean, she was, you know, she was like my mom's age, so I think she did a lot of secretarial type work, like coming up in the 60s and the 70s or whatever. So anyway, she would always, you know, have to put people on hold, obviously, and she would always say, instead of please hold or whatever, she would say, one moment, please. <laughs> it was amazing. She had the most beautiful voice. So that's where I get, one moment, please. Um, she would say, one moment, please, or one moment, please. Like, it would be these, like, different intonations. And, um, yeah, so I've been saying it ever since then. And my husband thinks it's the funniest thing because I'll just be talking regularly and he'll ask me a question and I'll be like, one moment, please. <laughs> He's like, there it is. There's the voice. Okay, hold, hold on. I gotta find this other tie. Okay, located. So I've got my Orbe Rock Hard Gel. I just talked about this. Oh, I was talking about the Beautylish, my Beautylish uh, gift card event um, recommendations. And I love this gel. And you know what's ironic about that particular video? And of course I didn't catch it until the editing. Um, my hair in the back, I guess I just put up my hair quickly that day. Sometimes I'm just, you know, I'm like going through the motions a little bit too quickly. And I think I just gelled the front of my hair and I didn't gel the back. And so all my hair was kind of like sticking out the back. And I was like, great. People are going to be like, yeah, that gel works real well, Michelle. Anyway, it does work real well. So long as you put it <laughs> where you need to. All right. A nice dollop. And I am putting it in my hair while it's wet. Probably not the best thing for your hair. However, I do feel like my hair just behaves better that way. Um, I feel like if I dry it and then I have to slick it back, it's just, it's so much more work. So anyway, I just gelled the front and now I'm gonna gel the back, which is what I did not do in my recommendations video. And I take my brush and just brush it all in the same direction. I probably have, can you guys even hear me? I probably have like 8,000 cowlicks all over my scalp. It is so hard to get all of my hair going in the same direction. It's so annoying. Okay. That was my inversion workout for the day. Check if I have any stragglers. Now, just tie it in a ponytail, and then I'm just going to wrap it around. I can put my second hair tie in to tie, keep it in place. Okay, I have a little bit of leftover gel that was like stuck on the cap. So I'm just gonna take it and really smooth things down. I've got those crazy baby hairs here that you guys love to see in the morning. <laughs> just get it all down. Might as well use some in the brows while I'm at it. And then I have this travel hairspray. I do love my Orbe, the Superfine Stronghold hairspray. However, the can is just too big for me to travel with. And I don't think they have it in travel size. Anyway, I have this L'Oreal. It's Unscented Extra Hold Elnet. I think I got this when I was in New York. Anyway, I'm just gonna spray for good measure. Man, I have a couple bumps back here. Oh well. Let's see if I can tame them a little. It's like no matter how much I brush my hair, I know I have, I have a giant cowlick here, and I do have one here, and I have one here, and that's where I usually get my bumps. All right, I'm zoom is that that's too much i feel like that's scary but i'm doing my makeup now and i want you to zoom in a little bit sorry sorry oh god too much <laughs> sorry okay there we go uh so let me show you what i brought in terms of makeup very very simple i didn't want to get too complicated i feel like if i bring too many things like i like having the options sometimes but then options i feel like can give me like analysis paralysis. So uh, I brought the La Mer skin tint. I think this is just a really good all around tried and true product. So I brought this, I resisted bringing 
the Dr. Jart. I resisted bringing um, the Hourglass, like so many new good ones. But I decided to go with good old trusty Le Mer. I'm just gonna put it on with my fingers. Bring it down a little bit. And I did bring my BK Beauty Angie Hot and Flashy Travel Set. So I am gonna use the A101 foundation brush. The lighting in this bathroom is not horrible. I definitely have had worse. But I feel like if I just run a brush, I just feel like I'm guaranteed not to have any, you know, unblended areas. So I'm going to do that. My skin, thankfully, looks okay. Usually, especially like the day after I've traveled, I look a little worse for wear. So I'm glad that I look okay. I did get a decent night's rest last night. Probably went to bed at around like 1030. I woke up early because I wanted to finish editing a video and then set it to upload and the hotel speed here is terrible. So I was like, well, I'll just leave this open. And I went back to bed for like another half hour, which was really nice. Um, okay, I've got my Surratt Dewdrop Concealer in shade number three. I'm just gonna use the same 101 brush, but this set does have the concealer brush, but I just, I have this out, so. <laughs> I'm just going to use this. I brought my Tom Ford bronzer. And let's see. I've got this brush, the A507 brush. I used it for blush yesterday. I think it's okay. Let me just wipe off any excess product. And then just pick up the bronzer. Such a pretty tone. Just blend that out. So I don't look like I have a bronzer helmet. And then I've got my Kira Weiss, the Cheek Collective in Blossoming. I love traveling with this because it is so compact and flat and the colors in here are very neutral. They work really well for me. So I'm gonna use the blush, the Blossoming blush. Tap onto my cheeks a bit. I'm just gonna use my finger, pick up some of the highlight here. Da -da -da. Persona Swipe Up Brow Gel. Then I brought my Clay de Po. That shows you nothing. I brought my Clay de Po Quad. This is the one in Ocean Sunrise. Yeah, number four. Ocean Sunrise. I think someone asked me why they called this one Ocean Sunrise. Because, I don't know, I don't think it looks much like an Ocean Sunrise. However, I had a really interesting conversation with Benjamin Pucky when I met him, who's the color director for uh, Clay de Poe, and he was like, you know, you just, you can't name stuff that's already existing out there. And he's like, it's really, really hard <laughs> to come up with names. He doesn't name them, someone else does, but he's like, I really feel for them because it is a really, really hard job. And I never thought about it. Um, and I'm terrible at naming stuff. So I'm like, I get it. I get it. That's rough. Okay. I also brought, I just grabbed them and threw them in my bag, the new Refer Mini Max sets. So they came out with um, smaller and larger sizes of their most popular eye brushes. I think there's five. So I have already used the 15 Max which is so great. It's just a little bit bigger than the average blender brush. Like it's, it's got some heft right at the base here. Um, so that's really good if you wanna do like a nice sweep of a shade all over. Do I wanna use that again? Maybe, I'm gonna use this one actually. This one is number two max. So again, just a little bit bigger, a little, a little heftier than their number two, which is one of my favorite shader brushes. So yeah, I think I'll use this and maybe a combo of the BK Beauty brushes. She's got the 501 brush. And this is such a great like lid brush. Um, and then she also has the A502, which is a great blender brush. A little bit, little bit on the smaller size side than uh, a regular blender brush. Okay, 
So I am gonna go in with the number two Max from Refer. I'm gonna go into this primer shade. You know, uh, Clay de Poe and their quads, now they have a primer shade. It's the bottom left-hand shade in every quad. And you should put that down first. It is a really beautiful satiny shade, but it allows the other shades in the quad to just go on. I mean, they go on by themselves if you don't use a primer, they go on beautifully. But this just really helps them like glide on and blend together. It just really amplifies their good qualities, if you will. I actually have this like really beautiful soft satin sheen. I feel like you could wear it alone <laughs> if you like that look. It's like lingerie for your eyes. So pretty. Now I'm going to take this A502 brush from BK Beauty, the small blender, and go into this shade up here. I'm going to deepen up the outer corner here. I should do a time check. Okay. I've got time. But I'm going to leave my iPhone up here just in case. And I'm going to take this clean 501 brush. I always like to have a clean eyeshadow brush on hand just to help blend out. And then I can always add more pigment on top if I need to. And then I'm just going to grab a little bit of the, the lighter brown over here. Use that to blend out. So I'm putting it over like the center of my lid here. There. I like how that eye looks. So I'll do the same thing on the other side. They look pretty even to me. <laughs> Again, always hard to Hell, especially in a mirror you're not used to. And I brought my Lancome Lashy Doll waterproof. Then I've got my Hourglass Voyeur waterproof eyeliner and I'm going to tight line. And maybe do a teeny bit underneath. I don't like to do too much below. I just feel like it makes me look tired <laughs> if I go a little too crazy. Or, I don't know, too severe, you know? I think I'm going to do a really bright lip. I mean, why not, right? So I got my Louboutin... I can't remember the shade name of this. I'll put it down below in my description box. But you guys remember, you guys remember these. These are the So Good. Oh my God, my memory really is failing. But these came out, I feel like, last holiday season. So th these are probably like a year old at this point. Um, love, love, love. The formula, the shade, the, pa the packaging is so Louboutin. They're refillable. Yeah, these have been around for a while. I think they're still around. I hope so. Anyway, down below in the description box if you're interested. But the shade is called something like RNG or whatever. I'll put it down there. Actually, hold on. My lips look a little dry down here. And nothing like a bright color to really emphasize that. So I'm gonna throw on some of my U Beauty. I forgot to put this on last night before I went to bed, which always kind of guarantees me plush, plump, smooth lips in the morning, and I totally forgot. Mm. I don't know. I think my lips look a little, just a little too dry for a bright lip. I'm kinda bummed. Hmm. I may have to go with like a nude color, which I don't think emphasizes as much, as long as it's not too light of a nude. I did bring my other nude <laughs> Louboutin. This is the nude shade. This one may actually be too light too. Okay. I'm going to go with this and then I'm going to put lip gloss on top because I think that'll help. So this is the Chantecai, um Blythe lip gloss from their holiday collection. Yeah, they look 
healthier. <laughs> I look less like a crypt keeper. Okay, now let's get dressed. All right, so this is one option. This is that wool uh, snap front Prada shirt, like shirt jacket that I have. And I thought I'd wear it Prada style with like a girly bottom and then my Prada shearling um, slides. I don't know if you guys can get the whole look. It's a little odd because this is uh, kind of an androgynous top. It's a little bit boyish, but I like whenever Prada does that. They do something kind of casual, kind of boyish on top, and then they do like a flirty skirt. This is the skirt I got at Nordstrom. I think it's from Halogen, but I got it during their anniversary sale. It's like kind of leather-like. It's really cute. Anyway, I thought this could be fun. So here's one option. This was my other thought, the Celine Anorak over the skirt, but I think it's just too, it's like it's too long. There's too much down here. And the whole look I think is a little, like I'm taking the more casual up top and the girlier at the bottom. I think, I think I'm taking it too far. <laughs> so I think this is a no. Here is this outfit with, sorry, the lighting is so crappy where this full length mirror is. Um, with my row school girl, school girl blazer, jeez. Um, so that probably the most traditional type outfit. I do have a black t-shirt on underneath. I could put a white blouse on underneath, but I think maybe that'll be too fussy. Um, but this is another option. I kind of like this. This blazer is so comfortable because this material is, I mean like most row material is just unparalleled. It fits so perfectly. Um, but it's almost like, it's almost like scuba suit material. It's so incredible. So it is very, very comfortable. All right. I decided on the Prada top. I just thought it looked more different. You know, why look like everyone else? So I got my Prada shearling mules, my faux leather semi wrap. There's like this extra layer here, pleated skirt, Prada top, and I actually put on this necklace that I got uh, yesterday at that PR firm. I thought it was um, a cute piece to wear with this. So I think I'm ready to go. I just have to put on my rings. I'm gonna bring my Loewe puzzle bag. And that's it. I'm gonna see if Samantha and Risa are ready to go. Um, oh, it's such a foggy day, which is so weird for LA. Look at this. Look how fo fo smoggy, maybe it's smoggy. I'm gonna say it's foggy, <laughs> but wow, my goodness. Here's Samantha vlogging. Vlogging. Vlogging me vlogging. Vlogging me vlogging. <laughs> I mean, Ooh. cute. I love the chucks. Thank I you. love them. Me too. I wasn't sure I could pull them off. I was nervous to buy them, but. Oh, well, first of all, I you did. can pull off anything. Thank you. Okay. I appreciate you. Um, yeah. The support. <laughs> this is what we need in our lives. But so comfy. So comfy. And so cute. Thank you. Oh, I love it. Okay, <laughs> vloggers, can I go to the bathroom and pee real quick? Oh my God. <laughs> This is James. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a space. Do you know the history of this space? I don't. It's the old okay. Spruce Goose Hangar where they like made the big airship. So like this was the giant hangar that they made the Spruce Goose in. And then it's that door for a while. It was like, I think a studio space. And then you two took it over and it created an office in it. So. Oh, it's so it's cool. Wild. I could stare at these beams all day. Yeah. And it's all wow. like all this is like protected, so you feel super careful when you're in this space. It's kind of cool. Oh, it's nice. Yes, yeah, it's really awesome. lovely. Thank you. Taking you in this moment, come get close like your own name. Read your aura, you want more of all this love, you'll be your name. Release all of your burdens, it's been me, you'll be such a take a load off and you close off. Just relax, you deserve it. You keep me up and I got you all on my mind. lunch outside. 
Lovely. Love, it was lovely. 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 A word I cannot say without my thick New York accent. <laughs> lovely. Lovely. Uh, and now we're just walking down this huge corridor. We're going to take a look at some vendors, get some fresh juice. Wow. Runaway. Runaway. So this okay. is the vault that everyone needs okay. in. Yes. Um, have four new shades. So we have Berry Brat. She is a cream formula. Really, really pretty. Okay. Um, then we have Hot Cherry Cream, which we make in a lip uh, plumper, but now it's in a cream version, which are really, really pretty. Awesome. We have Snapdragon. Ooh, she is ooh, really I nice. Like and then we have a new lip plumper. She's so pretty. It's like this beautiful bubblegum Barbie pink. Ooh, cute. So good. And this one is called Pretty Hot. Ooh. Yeah. So you'll get that along with the signature other ones. Okay. And they're all different. There's a mixture of formula. So you'll get heat, creams, original, and ice. Okay. Yes. And the I'm familiar with the original. Yes. That's the gloss bomb. Yes. The gloss bomb original. The OG. Okay. Um, and then we have our holiday, holiday lip treatments. So these are the lip oils here. Ooh. This is a new a formula, a new shade called Melon. Okay. Uh, the cherry one is already out. People love this cherry lip oil. And then we have our uh, lip treatment, which is our lip uh, pudding. It's so nice. It's like an overnight lip treatment, but we launch it in a new shade. And what I love about these is that they twist up. So you don't have to dip oh, into a pot with your finger. They just kind of like twist up. They're so pretty. Um, and this gives your lips just a little bit of a tint. So if you want some treatment during the day, they're not just at night. Okay. Um, so you can see, oh, there it goes. Okay. And she pops oh, right up. That. Isn't that cute? Yeah. And then you just put, put it on. And easy to sanitize. Nice. Yeah. So, yeah, and these are brand new. So it'd be one for you, one to gift, or both for you. <laughs> so yes. when are these gonna be out? So these have just launched. No, they oh, just okay. launched, okay. yes. <laughs> the vault will be only on fitzybeauty.com and I think okay. Sephora.com. Okay. Everything else will be in Sephora stores as well. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Thank you. So so good. And then our lip our body balms are really great. People love these. Um, they're brand new flavors and scents. This one, Rihanna said she wanted it to smell like Mrs. Claus's kitchen, like baking cookies, which I'm like, what? That's so cute. Um, oh my God, you have to see this. This formula is like, has a little bit of shimmer on the skin, which is really nice. And it smells so good. So what is, this one is oh, called wow. Warm Cinnamon. It's supposed to be like oh, a cookie. It yeah. Is. Um, and it's subtle. Yeah, it's yeah. subtle. It's, it's just subtle. really soft. It yeah. won't interfere with any of your perfumes or anything. Yeah. Um, and then we have Vanilla Dream. Vanilla Dream is a soft vanilla um, scent. Mm. And it has just a little bit of um, shimmer in it as well. Okay. Yes. Oh, yeah, and these come in a set for holiday. Yeah. I don't even think it was recording. Oh. I'd like you to do it. Do you want me to do a little thing? Yes. I'll do a little thing. Love it. You love it. So we're going to do straps too. Find a shade for you. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So we can make it. Love it. So buttery, creamy. Perfect. Love. Number six. Number six. Number six. So they're doing professional headshots here, and I'm stalking. Um, is it makeup by Molly? Makeup Molly. Makeup Molly. Makeup Molly. Sorry. We're stalking her because she's she's going up next. She's, she's, yeah, she's so professional. adorable. Professional. She's a professional. Yeah, I'm an amateur. We're just here. <laughs> I'm just here. Honestly. How are we here? Why am I here? Because they know we're close. It's true. They're like, come on over.
coming to the close of this holiday house, this shopping event. And <laughs> what a great day. I know, it's been a lot of fun. Right? I think the best part, really, is just meeting other creators, no offense to YouTube, but meeting other creators. Truly. Really. Or thanks to them for bringing us together. Yeah. And everyone's been so nice. Yeah, super nice. I feel everyone's like I've made friends. Happy to be here. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> But I have to show you guys. Now this is obscene. This is absurd. Um, it's absurd. It's actually worrisome because we have to fly home and we have to figure this out. We can fly home on the bags. On the bags. They literally get so turned into magic carpets. They're gigantic. <laughs> Look. Actually, I don't think you can tell how big these are. I know. Wait, here's my puzzle bag for, for size reference. Do you see? They're like body bags. They're huge. I don't mean to sound ungrateful. However, I'm gonna have to go buy a suitcase. I know, I don't know how we're gonna get this home. <laughs> we're gonna have to buy a suitcase for these bags. I may just ship it. Yeah. Because I just don't even, I don't wanna deal with like another bag. I know, I feel you. I just bought a tiny duffel bag. For a like 40 minute plane ride? Yeah. It's like crazy. Anyway, um, can't we just see what's inside? We don't even know. Because it's like it's clothing. Like clothes. Too. It's just a lot of stuff. Hey guys, I am back in the room and <laughs> just cleaned up my makeup. I had all of this um, eye makeup. I don't know if it was my mascara, which doesn't usually run, or my eyeliner, which doesn't usually run. Maybe it was my eyeshadow. Um, but I had it all underneath my eyes. It's really humid here in, in LA, and I didn't bring powder. And when I'm in Vegas, I don't usually have to powder. But, uh, you know, when it's more humid, if I powder underneath my eyes, my eye makeup um, won't run. But I don't, have, I don't usually have to do it in Vegas. Anyway. Blah, blah, blah. I'm back in the room. I have a little bit of a reprieve before going out to dinner. Um, a whole group of us are going to go out, which is going to be so much fun. Uh, Cassie Thorpe, whom you, I know you guys all know, she was on the panel with me. Um, she is fucking fantastic. That's all I have to say. I'm like obsessed with her. <laughs> I want to be her best friend. Anyway, we're, uh, we're all going out. Cassie, Risa, Samantha, Leah Janae, she's there. Um, I was hoping Lauren May Beauty would join us, but she had to, she had like a prior commitment with her family. Um, Nikki LaRose also, she had to run off. Um, Makeup Molly is going to join us. And I think, I think that's it. So like the six of us, but I got to meet up with Grace from Everyday Edit, uh, and her husband, Scott, who I know has uh, been on her vlogs. They were there. It was so nice to see her. Oh, it's them, both of them. So nice to see them. But it was such a great event. And yeah, it was just, it was, you know, it was low key. It was chill, but they like ran it really well. Great information, you know, met great people. So it was just, it was very effective. So I, I have to go through this like swag bag. This is literally the largest swag bag ever created. So we're gonna go through this right now because I do not think I'm actually gonna be able to take all of this home. It's just, it's too much, it's too much. Okay, so here's the giant massive bag. I don't even know how to do this. It's sitting on the floor. Oh my God, thank God I started working out. Good golly. Okay, it is, don't mind my unmade bed behind me. Is that, this is too unsightly, hold on. All right, so we have a beach waver. We have a gloss set from Ulta Beauty. We have from Fenty Skin Cookies and Clean Whipped Clay Detox Face Mask. From Fenty Skin uh, Fruit Quenchers Hydrating Conditioning, ooh, Lip Oil Duo. That's exciting. Oh, another thing from Beach Waver, the Great Barrier Heat Protectant Hairspray. And something from Fenty, ooh, an EDP from Fenty. Uh, let's see, Fenty Butter Drop Whipped Oil Body Cream. Ooh, um, Luis at the Fenty Skin booth, he showed us the, the body creams. I'm very intrigued now. And then, oh, Too Faced Maple Syrup Pancakes eyeshadow palette. Look at those. Okay. Ula Henriksen. I feel like I'm always mispronouncing that. Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer. This is a very good moisturizer. Uh, Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. Excellent. Ula Henriksen Dutopia 25% Acid Flash Facial. 
So this has 10% AHAs, 15% PHAs. Scandinavian Rowanberry Extract. Ooh, okay. We've got Fenty Skin Cookies and Clean Detox Face Mask. Do we have two? Oh, oh, you know what? I bet this is like for holiday. Ooh, Benefit Nice List Lashes. Oh, how cool is this? This is like a tube full of their different mascaras. That's so neat. $48. It's a value of $99. I have a feeling that's going to be available at Ulta. Let's see. We've got, ooh, the Super Goop Play. It's SPF 30. The Plush Puddins Intense Recovery Lip Mask Duo from Fenty Skin. ColourPop Lippy Sticks in the shade Oh Snap. I feel like I've heard a lot of people talk about this particular shade. It's very nude. Let's see why it's popular. This is from Ulta. And oh, it's a bunch of Tarte mascaras and a MAC matte lipstick in the shade Chili. And it's all in this really cute little Ulta makeup bag like a fluorescent pink nylon trim. Very nice. Oh my God, this bag goes on forever. Um, a KVD Tattoo Duo, I think that's the liquid eyeliner, and then another Beach Waver Shine Squad Shine Spray. Don't know what I'm gonna find at the bottom here, but I think that's all the beauty stuff. Oh no, wait, there's more. Hold on, oh, Morphe Jumbo Continuous Prep and Set Mist. So I guess that's a setting spray from Morphe. And then, oh, I have the Benetint from Benefit. Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb Heat Universal Lip Luminizer and Plumper. Okay, I think the rest is like clothing and stuff. So some huge hoop earrings from Nordstrom, very nice. Some Adidas Argyle. <gasps> um, are these socks or like slipper socks? Let's see, Argyle socks. Oh my God, that's so funny. They're like really, really fluffy. So funny. And then, what is this? Oh, hanger and everything. This is from Aqua. So this is um, the like in-house line at Bloomingdale's. And let's see what this is. Oh wow, this is so funny. This is a jacket with like a heart. Actually the back is probably clear. Hearts and stars and everything embroidered on there. Is this a zip up? Oh no, it has like hook and eye closures. It has this embroidered trim. Oh my God, this is so funny. That's really cute, okay. And then, wow, okay. Oh, from Abercrombie and Fitch, they were there as well. These are a pair of trousers. Beige pair of trousers, lovely. And this is, ooh, a cashmere sweater from Nordstrom. Look at this blue color. This matches my Violette FR eyeliner. <gasps> and then, ooh, this looks like a pajama set from Nordstrom. Green cilantro dome lines. I guess that is the, <laughs> the name of the pattern. Oh, it's so cute. Nice. Now, there's a lot of clothing in here. And then these are from Hollister. These are like white canvas jeans. I'm not going to open all this. It'll just be really hard to pack if I open it all. And then, oh, a sweater from Abercrombie. Wow. It's like a cable knit cream sweater. And then, holy smokes, what is this? This is a puffer jacket. Let's see. Wow. This is from Gilly Hicks. really nice oh my gosh this is so intense and then this looks like a gray sweatshirt lovely and like a taupe pair of sweatpants okay some of these i may be wearing out tonight Do we have here I can't tell it's black so I need to open this up oh oh my I guess this is a workout bra or maybe it's just kind of a fancy bustier it's definitely cropped with straps and then it's got all this crisscrossing detail crisscrossing detail on the back 
Nice. And then I think these are tights that kind of match that. And that is all. That is so much, you guys. Oh my God. I feel like I have to start packing now, even though I'm not leaving for like a few days. But yeah, I have to figure all this out. And I also got that huge goodie bag from those two PR firms. So I'm just gonna finish editing some things, uploading some things. The upload speed in this hotel is pretty slow, so I'm gonna get started now. And then we're gonna head out to dinner. We had to do a quick Target run because we have lots of stuff to bring home. Luggage secured, duffel bag secured. Yeah, got it all secured. I think we're all good. Good morning. Good morning. I am still in LA. I just came back up from um, having some breakfast downstairs. I was reading my book. I'm on book six, I think, of the Karen Slaughter Will Trent series. I mentioned it before because I read, I think, four of them when I was at uh, Greenwood Lake over the summer. Um, it's good. It's a really good series. I really like her as a writer. Anyway, I have a busy day ahead of me. I am um, heading off to a meeting with Smashbox um, first thing this morning and then hitting a PR agency. And then I have a meeting this afternoon with Ilya. Very excited uh, to meet the teams and stuff. And um, yeah, it's, it's always just nice to actually interact with people <laughs> instead of just over email and text or whatever, or DMs. Um, I'm wearing, by the way, I'm wearing that Nordstrom cashmere sweater that was uh, part of the YouTube swag bag. This color is amazing. I just love it. I mean, I fell in love with that Violette FR uh, liquid shadow. I was like, man, this blue. And now this, just having a whole sweater of it, I'm like, oh, this is so amazing. I love it. I love this blue. And this cashmere, it's quite nice. Anyway, so I need to get ready for uh, these meetings and <laughs> just a little behind the scenes. Um, uh, is it funny? I guess it's funny at this point. Um, but a lot of times uh, when I have a, a sponsorship or whatever, like the timing is always, I don't wanna say always, mostly the timing is very tight. Um, like by the time you've worked out like the contract or whatever and I, you probably have like less than a week to create the content and it's usually I mean when I say less than a week it's usually like four I feel like I have like between three and five days to get some content together and um you if I'm home it's great right it's just fine it's just I just pump it out you know I get it done but when I'm traveling <laughs> It's a little bit more difficult. So I actually have a sponsorship that is due, which I, I didn't realize because the dates kept shifting. Um, but I have a sponsorship due, uh, oh my God, tomorrow? Wait, what's today? Yeah, it's, it's now it's due tomorrow. And so, you know, I thought I'd be able to, not I thought, I was hoping I'd be able to just, you know, say, I'm, you know, traveling, is it possible to get the content to you on, on Monday? And no, it's for an actual event. So I'm like, oh, okay. So uh, anyway, so we're figuring it out. I actually came up with a, a good idea. <laughs> Look at me creating content ideas. Um, I came up with a good idea. So I think this is actually going to be better than if I were to have just filmed this at home. So I'm kind of excited about it now. Um, you guys will, I think you guys will have seen it already. Um, but it was uh, just a campaign for Instagram. Anyway, um, so yeah, I've got lots of stuff going on today. Filming, editing, three meetings, and uh, yeah. So I should get going. I really need to get myself together. And uh, now I'm like, oh great, now I'm gonna be filming. Not that I didn't wanna look good for, <laughs> for these meetings, but I'm like, oh, now I gotta look. I think I'm gonna put my hair back again because it's just easier that way, but. 
Gotta wash it though. Gotta wash it and reset. Otherwise I feel like it's too, it's too grubby. You guys know me, me and my daily hair washing. All right, I will catch up with you guys in a bit. Okay guys, I am ready. I think I may, I don't know. I don't know if I'll be too warm in this, but I do have a white blouse underneath, which I can always take this off and wear that. I got my Chanel flat slingbacks on and I have my Chanel pearl hoops. Sorry. <laughs> It's always strange to try to film in a mirror, um, but these pearl hoops, which are old, they, you know, are at least a couple years old, and when Chanel, like, discontinues something, it's gone forever, so I apologize, but I don't know where you can find these, and that's it, that's it. These are just some cropped, tapered, like, pants from Kaz, and that's it. I am ready for my meetings. I gotta grab an Uber. I Day in LA. I'm excited to get home. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm excited to get home. I am really tired, <laughs> really, really tired. But it's been such a good trip. It's been productive, but mostly just like connecting with people, which is so, so nice. Um, you know, meeting other content creators at the YouTube event and just meeting contacts at brands, you know, people that I've been emailing, brands that I've just, you know, communicated with in general. So it's, yeah, it's just been so nice. Yesterday I met with Smashbox. I mean, they have such an amazing history, which I never knew about. Um, the grandsons of Max Factor started Smashbox. I was like, I didn't know that. <laughs> I felt really dumb. I was like, wow, had no idea. Um, and that's why their primers are not only so important to the brand, but so good because that was like Max Factor's thing. But anyway, it was really amazing to, to meet them and their office space. They just had all these studios where they shoot things and it was so new, uh, so unique. Not a lot of brands have it. Usually it's just offices and then everything is sort of offsite, but not Smashbox. It was really cool. And then I met with a PR agency um, and then I met with Ilya which was also really wonderful. Um, I know how much you guys like their products and it was really great to meet like their director of um, influencer PR and stuff. And yeah, she was wonderful. She's had a lot of experience working in a lot of different places. So it was just, just good to talk shop. You know, it was like, what do we think is going on in the space? What do we think is gonna happen? What do I like? What do I not like? You know, blah, 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 lots of cooks. Of course, lots of talk about um, TikTok and short form and, and all of that. Yeah, it's, it's really great. It was really great. I have one more meeting today with T3 and then I'm home. Then I'm going home. I originally was going to leave tomorrow, but I changed my flight to today because I had a meeting this afternoon, but that got canceled. As much as I wanted to meet this brand, I'm just glad. <laughs> I'm kind of glad that I get to go home tonight. So I have to pack. Uh, my manager, thankfully, my God, thankfully is going to be shipping back a lot of my stuff because I'd have to get another suitcase and all of that stuff. I'm like, I just don't, I don't have it in me. So <laughs> she's gonna be shipping it back, which is wonderful. And that's it. So I'm gonna get ready for the day. I have, um, oh, I think I was telling you guys, I was, 
I had to like do a sponsorship um, last night, which is why I didn't vlog when I get back. I was so tired because I had to finish doing that, edit it and submit it. And then I just collapsed after afterwards. Um, but uh, God, what was I going to say? Why did I start telling you that? Oh, I have one more thing to do today, which I wanted to do last night, but I just didn't have it. I didn't have it with me, but I wanted to put together my newsletter for this week, which you will have gotten. Um, so I need to do that. And then, yeah, and then pack. And then head on home. <laughs>